People often associate them with pagans and even white supremacists. But what is the true Odinism religion? Let's dive down as deep as we can. The religion is practiced in the name of the Norse god Odin, the Allfather. The people are often seen wearing a pendant with Thor's hammer around their necks. They would meet for rituals mostly in the woods, and sometimes they would even sacrifice animals in the name of the gods. Odinism was first reported back in 1820, and it was well notable by 1840, where Scottish writer and historian Thomas Cartel first practiced the religion. It would continue to be practiced and changed, and by the 1930s, Alexander Rudnose reintroduced the religion in Australia, and by the 60s and 70s, it was brought to North America. In today's modern time, Odinic rite is what defines Odinism, expressing the ancient religion that grew and even evolved through time. The Odinic rite shuns the religion being called the Viking religion. Even though a lot of Vikings follow the Odinism religion, it is thus associated with the Vikings rather than Odin, per your belief. There is very little research about Odinism because it has been erased and changed throughout history, especially when Christianity made its way through the countries. When Christianity came through, they heavily shunned paganism, that including Odinism. Many Odinists died out during this time and many converted. And in 1386, the Lithuanians converted to Christianity, and that was the last Odinist stronghold in all of Europe. After this, they had a resurgence. The first one failed, but the second one began in the birthplace of the Viking saga, Ida's Iceland. In 1972, farmer and poet Svenborn Vitsensen made the organization called the Fellowship of the Seerfate which gained recognition of Odinism by the Icelandic government in 1973. Many Odinists have different beliefs. Some have older beliefs from the first, earliest forms of the religion, and some have more modern views. Odinists are polytheistic, which means they believe in the three main groups of deities described by the Viking literature. Asir, god of tribes and clans. Vanir, gods of fertility of earth and nature. Jotnar, giant gods who represent war and chaos and destruction. Odin, Thor, Freya, Freja, Nord, Tyr, Uya, and Loki, of course. Many believed in the afterlife. They would die, and especially the fallen warriors, they would all get to join Odin in Valhalla until Ragnarok. Some believed that life went on after death, and that the dead needed company, like a wife, or a mistress, or even a servant, and they would be placed in a grave with them. Even with a variety of beliefs, all Odinists lived by the code of ethics called the Nine Virtues by Asatru and Odin, but they both have their own ways of living life. With the Odinic Rite being the main Odinists you will see, they are heavily compared to the white supremacists because of their symbols and their beliefs. The Odinic Rite has grounds in France, North America, the Netherlands, and especially in Germany. Odinics describe the religion as a folkish type of group, which only allows white members and shames mixed race relationships and goes as far as even calling immigrants an invasive species.